Now that we're familiar with CSS, we'll work on creating a CSS-based web page using a commonly used three-column responsive layout. This is what the final result will look like. We'll have a navigation menu at the top with four links. Each link has a mouse over effect and one of the links is active by default. The navigation bar is also nested inside a header div, and that's the black background area that you see behind the navigation. Next, we have our three columns, which will hold the content of our page. We've placed text content in this example to keep it simple and easy to follow. The three columns are designed to collapse below one another, depending on the user's screen size. As you can see, when we shrink the screen, the header is on top. The center content area is second, followed by the blue and yellow content areas. At the very bottom, we have our footer as well. This makes the web page fully compatible with any mobile device and any screen size. So with that out of the way, we'll go ahead and get started.